had a busy... Hi. Hello. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we had a really busy start to the week, haven't we? Yeah, very busy start to the week. Very busy. First um, official day. So. Yeah. First official start yeah. day. Pretty much all of us were here, all but one. Yeah. Um, Good so we had um, quite a lot of work being done. Um, on a whole different range of areas, two separate meetings and uh, working until um, quite late. Yeah, we had uh, at one point we had three different areas of the room going on, uh, everyone doing their own thing. We had the, all the whiteboards being used at the same time. Yeah, you see the Twitter picture we put up where everyone's working there, got their own little group. It's cool. Mm-hmm. Really feels like the actual what we told it'd be like for the summer now. Yeah, it's yeah. good. Should we start off with what we okay. first thing we did today? Uh, so I went to a meeting with Dan about, um, which was with Dr. Ramsdale, uh, to discuss fungal um, biology and um, some of the ideas that we have, uh, well, the main idea that we have, which is uh, uh, PATH and the secreting of PATH into uh, or around funguses, uh, fungi. Um, and he actually gave us a, a completely different idea um, from that, which is very helpful. It usually happens um, when you talk to all these professors, yeah. they always, yeah. yeah. Um, on maybe using, it's like synthesizing a virus um, which uh, would be transferred sexually between fungi um, to, and then having a kill switch which uh, kills all of the um, fungi based off of a uh, change of temperature or light. Um, so the idea is that we'd um, leave them in spring and then as the temperature increases in the summer, we'd, uh, all of the, the uh, fungi would die. Which and we, is quite an interesting idea. We've got to look into uh, what kind of temperature ranges we can do that with because mm-hmm. uh, the, the change in temperature between summer and spring isn't too great, but if we can hit it just right, then it should work quite well. I see sense. We'll have to, to um, look further into making it more ethical, um, making it more safe. Mm-hmm. Um, but that's something for us to explore um, and quite a different, unique idea that we hadn't really thought of before. Yeah. And while that was going on... Uh, right, at the same time we had another meeting. Uh, so, me, Alice, uh, Emily, Eloise, uh, we all went to Dr King uh, and we were talking about outreach to secondary schools. Uh, that was the first thing. We were talking about implementing possibly uh, synthetic biology to GCSE mm-hmm. and then also into a, a university syllabus for third year, which she said we'd all need to take. So. Uh, I yeah, think that'd be good. Is there Yeah. Um, so we we're talking to her about going into. There are many different uh, kind of gatherings where there are going to be like hundreds, thousands of students. Uh, and we're going to go along. We're going to take along our board game, which we've been working on more as usual. <laughs> um, take that, try it out with the kids. Uh, give and them a little talk about some biology as yeah, well. Yeah, give talks good. and. It'd be good practice for the actual jamboree, I'm actually yeah. pretty nervous for that. Yeah, I do. Oh, uh, I'm not, yeah. It's be It'll be like a, a taster session. We'll taste it, the, the, the public will uh, criticise how bad we are presenting to them. Exactly. Um, and then we can present in front of scary judges. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then, so after the meetings, we came back here into the seminar room and we worked on the board. We've got all the cards done now. All the cards done. All the cards all done. 175. Oh, so. Can't remember the names. Still, you can with some of the names though. That's a bit tougher. Yeah. But it's gonna be really good. Once it's finished, it's gonna be really cool. That's some good pictures up on the site as well. Twitter and all that, so make sure you check it out. Mm-hmm. And what else did you do? Then you were working uh, on... On the other board, the one that's, yeah. that's behind. Um, there's uh, uh, just pretty much writing down all the ideas we have, what we need to do over the next week and what we need to do for the next, uh, the week after, um, and getting a little bit more of a time scale done so that we can um, have something to work on. Um, objectives and uh, sort of help like using it as a sort of way to for everyone to to see what we need to do mm. um, yeah which is quite a lot <laughs> to yeah, by the smallest right yeah, I've seen um, the whiteboard yeah. in a very long time <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and we've got also organised lots of sc- we'll also organised lots okay. of uh, <laughs> Skype calls <laughs> yeah um, we've uh, some Skype calls um, in the, uh, we've got one with Newcastle tomorrow Newcastle tomorrow um, and we've been emailing um professors and, and lecturers at the, at the university as well um, to do some collaborations, have some, some talks with them, see what their input is as well. Yeah. I think we want to uh, eventually get to a point where we we present our ideas to uh, a load of lecturers and we'll choose which one gets torn yeah. down the least. Yeah. Which would be great. <laughs> and that'll be one we do. Hopefully. Yeah. Well, yeah. 
Better than goes, yeah, according to time, which rarely does seem to happen. Yeah. That's everything? Yeah, that's it. Yeah? Let's go. Yeah. All right.